Intruder, identify yourself. Hello and welcome. This right here is our war against elite of Sweden. Some of you may actually recognize the name of that clan. That clan went against, well, it was Golden Sky back then, but Lunar Rising. And they beat Lunar Rising. It was actually uh, pretty uneven in the star distribution. And that actually prompted Daddy to make that video about three stars with hogs. These guys were the hog masters. These guys were the guys getting three stars with hogs. And we actually got an advantage. We knew that these guys were hog users. They did also use a lot of go wee wee go wipe style stuff. And they got some decent attacks on it. But a lot of them still used hogs. So we just set all our bases to anti-hog bases. Except like one person forgot to do it and that's the person that got three starred but as you can see this is a anti-hog base it blew up half the hogs the complete left side of this attack of the two-sided hog attack is gone and nothing's going into the core and if you can't already tell giant bombs right there and now you got like four hogs left 27 percent core is completely intact there's a third of the defenses around the outside are still around there. So he just goes desperation mode and drops his heroes. Just trying to get that 50%. I'm actually going to speed it up because it's just two heroes going around the outside. We actually lost a lot of our replays. I'm only going to have one attack replay. And I wanted to show my defense replay like usual. But I lost the defense replay because we had a maintenance like... 14 to 16 hours into the war and it just erased all of our replays so i'm not necessarily showing you the best attacks or defenses this is actually one of the best defenses 49 percent but a lot of our best attacks are lost like my attack on the number one base same exact design as this just a little bit higher walls and the heroes were like 35 or something like that uh, this is a number two base. Same exact design. I got a one star on it because I got the town hall and only got 47%. I attacked from the top with Go Wee Wee. I told these people, these people as my clan, I mean, uh, try attacking from the sides because I've actually seen people successfully attack these bases from the side. I still wanted to try from the top and see if I could do that. Apparently I can. But I need to work on it, especially luring up at the top, because usually there's... In my case, there was a mortar up top instead of at the bottom. Those were switched on the other base. And the mortar messed with my lure, but I was still able to do it. Uh, but it used a lot of troops up, and I ended up getting 47% in the town hall. But... I mean, it's a win, so... I got one star on their number one base, so I can't really complain about that. If you haven't already noticed, this is our hog guy, or one of our hog guys, Nima. He's probably going to be featured in a lot of this stuff, because I don't want to just show nothing but go wee wee and go wipe, and a lot of us use that because it's a really good way to get a two star. And I kind of want to have a little bit of a diversity of attacks. I don't want to just show all that, so I'll use, like, Nima or Jetero for hog attacks or something like that. Some other people use hogs. I don't know who or else I would have named them. As you can see, he also carries his wall breakers like he did in the last war video. And that actually helps him direct his heroes straight to the core. This way his heroes don't go around the outside edge, but unfortunately that wall breaker weakened that wall. And as you're going to see right now, it's actually going to play with his barbarian king. But anyways, yeah, I may also show uh, dragon attacks. I know JJ, Tom, and Jay Jr. use dragon attacks mostly. Also, I think Madison does. So they're probably going to be most of where I get, you know, my one dragon attack or whatever just to show a different type of attack. Also, I promised you guys that I am going to tell you about how we organize war. It'll only take a minute because it's not that complicated. Basically, we say everyone has to participate to their fullest. Obviously, tell us if you have something like 
a spell factory upgrading or your certain troops are so low level that you can't even do like a go wee wee or even a ma uh, max dragon attack because you only have level three dragons and as a town hall 10 you'd be expected to attack the stronger town hall 10s just as long as they let us know they can actually sit out the war or use sort of weaker attacks or go for the weaker opponents and we won't give them anything any grief for that just as long as we know that there's something that's keeping them from going to their full ability there is no set targets for anyone there's no real calling target you could you get you can say to the clan through any means of communication hey i think i can even three star this guy definitely two star him, even though he's a really strong town hall 10 something like maybe this guy because of the design it may be weak against hogs and you might have level 30 heroes or whatever you can say hey i can three star this guy just so we don't waste attacks i'm gonna attack him anyways just don't attack him but it, even if someone attacks him, they can still attack him. They can still choose to attack him. So there's no call, true calling targets. You can say, hey, I want this one. I think I can do really well. And that's about it. And it actually works really well. On top of that, we have some people who attack right at the beginning with really strong armies. Like, I attack right at the beginning. Like, I will do both of my attacks within the first two to three hours of the war. And I'll usually get four stars. And then we have people like uh, Marcus and Anoo, who attack in the last few hours. Nima also usually attacks within the last eight hours. And they clean up all the tough ones that we weren't able to two-star, like the ones we messed up on. So what happens is half our really strong attackers attack in the first 12 hours, or maybe two-thirds of them, and the rest of them attack in the last, you know, few hours. And most of our... I don't want to say weaker attackers because they're good at attacking. They've got the skills for it. But they might have lower level troops or whatever, lower level heroes. They'll attack mostly in the beginning, like three quarters of them in the beginning, then spread the rest out whenever they can. That way they get the two stars that they can actually get on the lower bases or whatever, or really bad design. They get them early on. That way we know what to attack if we have, you know, level 30 plus heroes and can take anybody. So they... They take them out early in the beginning. I also like to attack the uh, top five with my attacks early on. Get a little bit of intimidation there. Also, this lure that you're seeing right now was really playing hell with me. There was 35 archers. No, he can't have, you know, seven wizards or whatever. Easy to pull out. He's got, got to have 35 individual troops. I eventually just said screw it and went for the attack. But back to what I was saying. So, uh myself and maybe like Daniel Spinelli or someone will attack within the first four hours really on their top guys and, you know like JJ might attack early on too sometimes Woski might attack early those are people that I'm naming that usually get two stars on all their attacks or at least most of them they'll attack and probably attack the top 20 people maybe even top 10 and just get some two stars on early on in well, we have also 75% of our weaker attackers, like weaker troop, weaker heroes, attacking all that they can. That way they get the ones that they can early on and no one else takes them. And then, you know, they get what they need. And then we have what's left of our stronger attackers, the people with level 30 plus heroes. They usually, maybe just because of their schedule, they usually just attack near the end and clean up everything we missed and that actually works out for us so there's no real major organization to it you just take who you want you take your two stars we also expect everyone to use a two-star army unless of course they have some reason why they can't be using that army because of spells or something like that spell factory upgrade because we have a couple people going to town hall 10 right now we're the last of the town hall nines or maybe both their heroes are upgrading. They just gotta say, hey, I'm not sitting this out, I want to participate, but I'm gonna be a little handicapped. And then at that point, you know, all our donations and our war CCs are exactly what the person asks, and only absolute maximum level for that troop. So, you know, like, I requested this last war, one level 2 witch, one level 4 valkyrie, uh three level six wizards one level six minion and one level six archer 
that's uh, really a kind of crazy setup because I knew it would mess with hogs and it would really mess with people to have a Valkyrie in there with a witch. Some people request a witch and a dragon. Some people request just two witches, rest wizards, witch and wizard, just all wizards. Some people even request just archers and minions. We just fill that. Other than that, it's pretty much free for all, but go for the two stars. That's it. And really, that's all I have to say. You notice uh, we're missing the replays for some of them. That was really annoying that the maintenance was in the way. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.